Look at this family you see before you. Now this may look like your typical family next door, but looks can de be deceiving. The three girls you see in this picture have been brutally murdered and the killer will shock you. Now before I dive into this tragedy, I want to tell you about the background of the family, the disappearance of these girls, and the tragic events that led to the murder. Shanann and Chris met in 2010. They soon began, began dating and got married in 2012. But Chris's parents did not attend, for they did not really approve of Shanann. Um, and soon after they got married, they were so excited to start their family. So they moved to Frederick, Colorado, where they built their own home and had their first child, Bella. Soon after, they had a second, Celeste. Now, if you look at Shanann's Facebook, you will see not only the love they have between Shanann and Chris, but the love they have between their entire family. Um, a few weeks after Shanann had announced that she was pregnant with their third child, Chris met Nicole Kessinger at their work. They hit it off and started to have a little bit of a relationship. Um, according to the Netflix documentary, um, Chris and Nicole started having a more intimate relationship weeks after they started dating. Um, so Shanann went on now that you know the characters that play an important role in this tragedy, I will tell you about the disappearance of Shanann and her kids. Shanann went on a business trip to Arizona in August of 2018. She then returned home at around 2 in the morning and her friend dropped her off. But her friend was getting a little worried because Shanann was not answering any texts or calls and she had missed a doctor's appointment that day for her pregnancy. So Shanann's friend called the police and asked them to do a wellness check on the house. Shanann was, Shanann's friend was the first to arrive, but they couldn't seem to get in. But Chris soon followed after, for they had called him to meet them at the house. Chris let them in with no problem, and they were looking around and saw no signs of any disturbance or any sign of struggle from the girls. Um, according to Biography.com, Chris had stated that Shanann said she was going to a friend's house with the kids, and that was all he told her. she told him. Um, as they were looking around, Chris found Shanann's wedding ring on the side table and her phone, which was unlike Shanann, and she would never leave without her phone. Um, after they looked around the house and saw no disturbance, they went to the neighbors and checked the garage cam. You can kind of see in the video um, Chris loading something into the back of the truck, but you can't really tell what's going on. Um, the, next, the following day, um, Chris, the news visited Chris's house to take his statement. He had explained how he had prayed for the hope of the children and that whoever may have them returns them home safely. Now, you may feel sympathy for Chris, and he has lost his family and his um, hope seemed to be lost, but the reality is much darker. The morning that Shanann had arrived home, she had went to bed, but Chris woke her in the morning as he was getting ready for work. He explained how um, he had a relationship with Nicole and how their <coughs> marriage was never going to work. Shanann, in anger, replied with, you will never see your kids again, and the unspeakable happens. Chris strangles Shanann to the point of death in their bed. He then wraps Shanann in a blanket and places her in the back of his truck and then collects his two children and places them in the back seat. He drives to his work site where there he smothers his two little girls and places them in two separate oil tanks. He then buries her, Shanann, out on the job site and leaves the scene. But this tragedy was not swept under the rug. The third day that the girls are missing, Chris takes a polygraph test and fails. He refuses to tell the police what had happened, but he tells his father that he had killed Shanann, but falsely claimed it was because she had smothered his two kids and he did it out of anger. The following day, the police recovered all three bodies at his job site. Um, according to NBC News, Chris was charged with five counts of first degree murder, three counts of unlawful, of tampering with a body, and one count of unlawful termination of a pregnancy. Chris had pleaded guilty to all nine counts and was sentenced to life in prison, for the family did not wish the death 
penalty upon him. He then in he then in prison explained in detail how and why he had killed his family. Now, now uh, the family you see before you um, seems like the perfect family, but looks can be deceiving and you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Um, since I have reviewed the background of the family, the disappearance of these girls, and the tragic events that happened, I want us to remember this tragedy and pray for the family in hopes that they can heal. Thank you. Ah! That was scary.